<laughs> hey guys. Are we really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, Friday, I worked on this pumpkin and told you I'd finish it today. So that's what I'm going to do. I have my three little pumpkins. I believe these are four inches. Um, yes. And so the idea behind it is to have the McLarens here and then our little family is going to be listed on these pumpkins. So I've made one before um, where the pumpkins kind of hung off the bigger pumpkin. But since I've already done that before, I got the idea the other day to stack them kind of like this. And I thought that would be cute. Um, and I'll glue them on. So for this pumpkin, I used um, vintage duck egg and for these three pumpkins I'm going to use palmetto, antebellum blue, and I think sea glass. I thought about using white on one of them, but I think I'm going to stick to these three. So um, I'll start with this palmetto. What do they need to do to win today and what will they win if they win? Today, let me... Let's just have you guys like, share, and comment. Um, and what we'll do is we'll pick two winners, and I'll send you three little pumpkins each. Because something else you can do with these is make um, fridge magnets. And I just did that. Um, I just posted about that. So if you guys wanted to go and read um, that blog, it's further back on our Facebook page. And so if you guys win today, um, you could go back and make some fridge magnets. Or you could go in and purchase the larger size and make your uh, little family. Those magnets are super easy. You can pretty much paint them just like I'm going to be showing you in this video. And then hot glue and a magnet to the back. Um, somebody commented that they use our shapes for all of their magnets. And so I want to comment back and ask her to post some pictures of her magnets because I don't think I've seen anybody. Um, I've probably seen them here and there, but I haven't seen a lot yeah. of um, somebody doing that. And so I'd love to see like what people do, like, what shapes they do. Um, this is also a good size for ornaments. You guys want to start thinking about that I actually have a tree in Colby's office that um, I'll get out closer to time but it has a lot of ornaments on it okay so this is antebellum blue it's almost like a, um, a peacock color and so I'm gonna do it on this pumpkin I think this pumpkin will be me and then the palmetto pumpkin will be Corey. And then the sea glass pumpkin will be Triton. And uh, you guys can go check out that blog to see the other pumpkin pet family that I did. Um, if you guys prefer to do it that way, it's super easy. Just connect um, the twine to the back of these and then to the back of that pumpkin. I actually don't know. Do we have twine here? Yes. Okay. I should we have, have it, some, and we sell it. Yes. But I don't know what I, if you could grab me some yeah. or get somebody to bring me some because I'm going to hang this for the bell, um, so that I can show them how I do that. Okay. Okay, so my last pumpkin, I'll go in with sea glass. It's a really beautiful light blue color. And look at me painting all of the sides of my pumpkins. I actually think I have a tiny sea glass sample that we could do as a giveaway one day. All right, so I'm going to dry these pumpkins so that I can go in and paint their vines and still.
Okay, so for their stems, I'm just going to use chocolate. And my chocolate does have a little bit of a black paint mixed into it just because I like a darker brown. And so I'll go in. Just paint my stem. Thank you. It's actually not the one that we sell, but to work for it's this. very, very similar. I created a poll just to see, I'm kind of curious about this, if people um, have a door hanger on their door. Because not everybody does it, you know? Yeah, that's a really good poll because I've not even thought about it. I guess you kind of assume. We have a whole lot of them, too. It looks like about 80% of them or so far. I don't currently have anything on my door, but I plan to put this one on it. Have you ever painted any of the pumpkins in a sage or olive green? She saw that in a magazine once. That was from Kate. I painted a sage one the other day, but I'd love, um, I'd love to paint some olive green ones because I have several pumpkin um, shapes cut, like cut for me to do videos on, and so I will. Um, incorporate those colors later this week one day I'm kind of thinking Thursday but I'll see what you say um, I was thinking about um, are they watching this camera yes. so do my spider can't do it like that oh. um, I was thinking about doing the Gosh, what was I thinking? Um, the reversible pumpkin snowman with Sarah on Wednesday. What do you think? I think so too. Okay, guys. She said she did the same thing with the little pumpkins and attached um, uh, her grandkids' names. So that's pretty cool. Yes, exactly. That'd be so cute. And people do it all kind of little kind of personalized ways. That's what's good about it. Yeah, our other like pumpkin patch family, like. This is pretty much that, but 3D. But our pumpkin patch family uh, cutout has a blog as well. And then on the top pumpkin, you can write like Marmy and Poppy's pumpkin patch or whatever your um, grandpa or grandma name is. Judy wants to know if we have any cutouts that are musical shapes. I mean, you would know for sure. We you? do. Um, it's in our miscellaneous category on um, under shop by theme. We do. We have guitars and pianos and musical notes. What is it, what is it miscellaneous shapes? Or? Yeah. Um, it wasn't quite big enough to have its own category, but it could end up getting its own category. I'm working through making that super organized for y'all, but it is under shop by theme. All right, I'll go in, highlight over all my chocolate parts with putty. And then I'll lastly go in, see how pretty all these blues are, with limeade for my leaves and my vine. All right, so in the end of the poll, um, we had 74% said that they do have a door hanger on the door to their home. And um, I'm sorry, 75 and then 25% said no. I would like to like one day run a poll to see what people use our products for most, like <clears throat> wall decor, yeah, door hangers, yeah, photography, whatever. People buy it for like photo props. There's all kind of uses that I would have never thought of. I know because we kind of get in the same habit of, you know, listing everything as for door hangers, but people actually use this stuff for so much more, like party, um, like for parties, they'll like use it as like props. That's something I was thinking about the other day because we have a lot of like theme shapes like fiesta and circus theme. Well, I was like, you're not going to use this as a door hanger. But I was like, that's what they're using it for. They're using it for party stuff. And so much of stuff like that can just be painted a solid color. 
and um, use just like that. So let me try these. brush a little sand down their stem real quick. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of black to outline and just give my um, leaf some shape. Um, Michelle wants to know if we have a sloth shape. We and absolutely do. Shape. And that would be under um, shop by theme and then under animals. Okay. So funny that I know all this now. We have more than one. I think we have one. We absolutely have more than one. And then uh, we have sloths that are ready wow. for Christmas time. They're ready for um, fall. And those would be under those categories, like a Christmas not, um, a Christmas sloth would be under Christmas. I'm going to also use this search tool online. Yeah, it works pretty well. It's starting to work better and better as we uh, fine-tune all these keywords and whatnot for you. So there's a link to sloths, not sleuths. I'm going to draw everything completely. It has to be not. It has to be completely dry for me to go in and do my lettering. I don't even remember that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not Deborah like my mom. That's what I was thinking. Okay, now I'm going to do my lettering. Hopefully it's dry enough. I'm using a Deco Color Premium slanted tip, oil-based <coughs> marker that I got at Walmart in the craft section, and it is amazing. You just do this to get, like, more, uh... Okay, so this one's mm, Corey. Let's start with me, because I'm most comfortable with my name. I do have this in a smaller brush, but I think this will work just fine. Jackie Eagle says she ordered that gold pen after the last video. It's pretty amazing. It's a really pretty um, color. well and it will definitely smell up your office <laughs> or whatever it's so doing. funny because smells bother me so bad and this does not bother me like so bad i'm so weird about smell like if somebody clear cuts something and brings it inside i'm like no i'm offended take it back out um but this is not bothering me Uh, we had a category promotion over the weekend. Uh, if y'all keep your eyes open every once in a while, we'll be able to do that. We did 35% off of our uh, Shop by Season category. So, and that's going to include your fall, stuff. fall Christmas. Yeah, very good discount, but it was only for that category. And 35% off is good because y'all know the pretty much the best one we offer is the Scarlet 30. And so that was five more percent off. I saw that this weekend and I was like, what? All right, so now I'm going to start gluing them on. So I'm going to be using E6000 and hot glue. So I was talking to Billy earlier. I use the E6000 because um, it's going to give you that lasting hold, whereas 
you could also use wood glue. That's going to do the same thing. I don't find that, um, you know, hot glue is like the best thing to, to hold forever, but it will give you that immediate hold, which is nice um, so that the hot glue will hold the wood glue or it'll hold the pumpkin in place until your wood glue or your E6000 dries. Like, because that hot glue is pretty much going to dry under a minute. Okay, and then I'll be next. And I'm just putting this on the back. <laughs> yeah, I know. You definitely got to be careful because those things do get so hot. And then I kind of mapped out my placement before. So I might should have scooted me over. Uh, You're going to let me do it? Oh, yeah, barely. You won't get much. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Scoot it over a little bit. And now we'll glue kind of like on the edges because it's. Um, Lori said she prefers it that way rather than hanging like you see a lot of people do. I think I'd rather that too. It's a neater look than just having them dangling. Yeah, they're kind of clustered. Yeah. Gives it some depth too. Yeah, it's 3D, which is super cool. So this, um, that's something too to be aware of. I didn't know that E6000 came in clear and white um by the clear why even would they make white so um if you accidentally oh, they make black too though i guess it depends on what you're going to be gluing. yeah i guess but like clear always work um so it did slip out the side over here so i'm just going to wipe that because it will dry white okay and then i should have done this first I should have put my hanger on before I put those on. So I'll be really, I'll try to be, mm, I'm scared. I don't want these to slip around when I try to do that. I was going to hang it for you guys on the video. Because I have my twine here. I'm just not sure. I don't want them to budge. They might need a second to dry. What do you think? Mm, I don't think it's going to be very long. Let's just try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Just be gentle. Gentle, gentle. All right. And so I'll use my Stanley TR-110. Curl it up. And so when you're holding it here, you're going to kind of see how much... Um, like room above the stem you're going to have. Ooh, that's loud. Now, out of staples, so I can oh. show you. Boom. Tomorrow, oh, what cell did I miss? Upside. Oh, well, we'll do another one. Yes, we will do For another 35 one. 35% off category. But in the meantime, you can use Scarlet 30 for 30% 30 off. It's not as, quite as good, but it's very close. And here it is. Look at the babies. And this is all my favorite colors. So I have vintage chuck egg on the main really pumpkin, is. palmetto, sea glass, and antebellum blue. And then they're all distressed and highlighted with um, chocolate. And putty, and then I used my like new little gold marker. Yeah. So fun. So tell them one more time, what are they going to win? They're going to win all this. I'm going to send you two winners, three pumpkins, three little pumpkins. Three little pumpkins. And y'all can make magnets, or you can make what I make, or you could make a banner. I made a pumpkin banner mm -hmm. a few years the ago. We can do a big pumpkin, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this pumpkin. is 16 inch, and these are four, four inches. Okay. So yeah, let's pick some winner. Um, let's see. All right. Um, Diane Jones. Diane Jones, please email us at support at bill-a-cross.com. 
y'all get a good giveaway today. We're going to give one 16-inch pumpkin and three little pumpkins. So if you got more family and you need more pumpkins, you can uh, order those. They're four inches. Or, guys, you could even use this to say your last name. And these little pumpkins could be blank. Or you could have them saying, welcome home. Um, they don't have to be personalized, like, as a family if you don't want to. And then what's our other one? Um, Shirley Hallett. Shirley, please email us at um, support. Yeah, support, support at build-a-cross.com. Um, I get tripped up because I'm so used to saying admin. Um, so we just need your guys' shipping addresses. And don't forget that Wednesday, me and Sarah will paint the reversible pumpkin snowman. So one side is going to be a stack of pumpkins. Other side, you can flip it and have it for Christmas, and it'll be snowman. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to paint um, the pumpkins in the wagon so that I can do some different colors, maybe even different patterns on the pumpkins. Like, I could do a cheetah print pumpkin. Um, I don't know. We could go crazy. And then on the, the wagon, I'll probably do the wood grain. So we'll touch base on some techniques tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.